UFC Heavyweight Division Collision. Strikers in this division, sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are gonna wanna stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Four years apart, with some differences in height, but the same reach. We go inside the octagon. Here's the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levin. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 192 pounds. Fighting out of Modesto, California, El Tigre. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. The fighters touch gloves. So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand. Early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Lance with the right hand. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Finish with your right. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. Right. 
Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll suddenly he'll change his stance. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize his eye. And now he's got hurt bad. Look at the turnovers in that kick. Not there. all about that left kick to the body. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back in range. Sneaky head kick. Big kick land. Right hand upstairs. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Huge block there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And a nice stiff jab there. Good punch land. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Whoa! Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Final seconds of round one. So a strong five minutes down. All right, so a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. Some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he wants to try to chase down that pin. Oh, man, head to land. And both guys really throwing with authority. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Flips to avoid the rack. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Nice head kick. He could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or his mama's out for Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. Nice kick. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side and really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Just misses there with the left. Lee going with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. Nice jab, falls up with a nice right hand. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Just out of the range with that right hand. Oh, big head kick. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. 
Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything. Oh, he got a good too. 20 seconds left. Another shot lands upstairs. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Well, defense. With that offering, DC, he is hurt. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you get one knee to the body, I'm done. Every time an opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great time. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Three minutes remain in the round. There's the kick, it's blocked. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Looking to counter with his left hand, but he misses. There, DC, he is officially rocked. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Oh, he might be out. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. Oh, news hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big left hook there. Versus position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting.
Good series of punches by him there. He certainly had no trouble finding the range to He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. So nice. Oh, landed another strike to his opponent's liver. He continues to target that area and looks to buckle him once again. Oh. That's as good a punch as he's thrown on him. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that lands perfect. And that one landed perfect. Big head kick lands. Oh, straight right. Checks the leg kick. Lee going for the head kick. No dice. Head kick. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of strike here to What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Oh! Big diving punch lands. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. It will land the single ground strike there. <laughs> 20 seconds now remain in the round. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Are you ready? You ready? Here we go, fifth and final round. Just missed with the left there. Defensively to block the strike there by Lee. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Nice punch by Lee. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Slotty kick now by Lee. Able to check that kick as well. Big kick. Nice counter with the hook shot there by Lee. Oh, connects with.
with the one, two. Escape DC. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Lee's looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Close guard. Back to the feet now. Less than a minute now to go in the fight. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Oh, big elbow. Yeah, I've hurt him a little bit. Chase that finish down. Oh! What a fight! The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-26. For the winner, by unanimous decision, LT Man! Nice job by him there as he is your winner via unanimous decision and 